Oh look there's we have Disney Pixar Toy Story featuring the Spotlight series Buzz Lightyear. On the side of the box we got a number 3 and a picture of Buzz Lightyear. This is still why I like going to the store so I can pick up my box. You can see it's a little damaged. Oh well. Here's the top. It's made by Mattel. Here's the opposite side. To mention the box in case you want to display it's 14 inches wide, 18 inches tall, and 10.7 inches thick. Here's the back of the box. Go ahead and pause if you want to read this. Comes with two head and a pair of hands. Now we got it for $35. We put a link down below. Here's your barcode or serial number. So collectors, unbox. Here's Buzz out of the cardboard. You got the two fists, two head scope. Looks like you got the base and the stand. You got the character art designer, Bob Polly with the art card. Out of the box, we have this background that shows Andy's bed. You've been got Buzz Lightyear bed sheet covers. Let's go ahead and take him out. Now that we got Buzz out of the box, go ahead and take a look at his head first. Now you can't swap it with two heads. Go with this one first. You can go all the way around 360. Tilt left, right, backward, forward. Now going to the helmet here, this came off fairly easily. We tried fixing it by pressing it down, but it's just a bad fitment. I can't even do it. I don't want to end up breaking it because it's already hitting the other helmet in the back. This one's okay. The right side just easily pops out. I mean, I could try pushing it in here, but this, the back helmet is already, it's already touching it. Also, when we close it, it's nice that it's flush in the front. But our issue is, if you look at the top, there's that gap that looks pretty ugly. Also, it's already scuffed up. We just got it out of the box too. If you try closing it on the top, then you'll have that little gap in the front. So let us know in the comments below if you guys are also having the same issue or is it just mine. If you guys want, you could actually just take this off. So it just looks like he has his helmet halfway out or open. Just do it like this. Or take the whole thing out. I think you could do it. Let me see. There's one. Push this forward. There's the other. Yeah. Since the plastic saw scuffed up, I think I'll just leave Buzz like this. Looks a little bit better. You will have those gaps, but it's better than a scratched helmet. It doesn't even fit. Let's swap out those two heads. Take this out by pulling it out. <clears throat> Let's put the serious face first. serious buzz this is probably when he got his buttons resetted and we have the shock face buzz i probably like this one the most which one do you guys like and he's coming i like how they had a little bit of blush on their cheek give it a little bit of better pigmentation let's go down to the chest now these buttons here are painted and they don't press also the same for the wings they don't press we do like how the light ear is painted on compared to the space ranger sticker here because in time so you can see it's already doing it. It's wrinkling, it's kind of bubbling up. So it's nice to have the Space Ranger painted on. Also the laser for the buttons doesn't press either. It's just painted on. Let's go with the arms. Now it does not pop out, but it does go all the way 360. And you also have a bicep cut. It's a little bit stiff. And there you go. Got 90 degree elbow band with the hands a twist. Also you could go up and down. But the fingers are still. Same on the other side. And of course you can't forget is wrist communicator. Let's open it up. Nice. This is also painted. Prefer that than stickers. And the first pair of hands you got a semi-closed fingers. And this one is just open. Swap it with these two. Pull this out. Grab this one. Now, I don't necessarily do this all the time. As you can see, those are just plastic. And in time, you keep swapping it, it might break. This doesn't match the face. Let's go ahead and swap the face. This one looks much better. T-pose. Let's go down to his hips. Actually, you know what? Oh, there is. Nice. You got that little torso. Got a little torso here, and then you could also twist it. I didn't expect that. Okay. Also, this is made out of rubber rather than having it just solid plastic. That's nice. See how it's a little bit soft and that little flex. And let's see if the actual hip twist 
Oh no. Does it? Let's see. Maybe it's just too hard. Let's try it. Okay, so there's no hip toy, it's just the torso. So it kind of compensated. You can also kind of move it left to right like this. Salsa. A little bit of ab crunch. Let's do some splits. You got your 180 split. The legs can going to go up this way. There's a 90 degree knee bend. There's a knee twist. You put the foot up this much. Also, there's a slight twist. This gets in the way though. Goes the same for the other leg. What does the bottom of his foot says? Just a serial number. And you also got those two pegs for the base. Checking out the back. You can see a little bit of scuffing pain coming off. Maybe from doing this. Okay, let's go back to the back area. You got your Disney Pixar, Mattel made in China. Then we go to his jetpack here. Now this doesn't press, just for decoration. Just painted on, which is nice. Also the jet exhaust, definitely prefer that more than stickers. But the wings here, I'm not sure why they didn't paint this. This is stickers right here. As you can see, it's already coming off right there. And at least this one is in decent shape. Now to pop out the wings, we won't be able to do it in the front, but it's a ratchet. You just kind of swing up. Same on the other side. Here's a few inside. Now I don't necessarily like that because I know plastic in time it gets brittle. Open it on and off. It might break so I think I'll just leave it open. Then you got the wings here extending. With a little lock. There you go. Also opposite side. So you notice you got one red. Also this one they just didn't paint because it's going to be green anyway. Here's a far view with the wings open. Let's go ahead and put the hand down and the arms. Buzz stands at about seven and a half inches tall with a wingspan of nine inches. We got the front view, side, and the back. We have a round base for the stand. Let's go put this on. Got the pegs for his feet. This is also a ratchet style. It's a little tricky for a bus since he has that jetpack. To be honest with you, I don't really necessarily think you need this. Oh man, look at that. I just scratched Buzz Lightyear's waist. So I would use this maybe if he's gonna, you are gonna make him try to fly. Let's go try to put it in the front rather than the back. The stand is pretty good holding up Buzz a liar with his weight. With the peg holes, you don't necessarily need that little claw on his waist. So go ahead and turn him around. So you can see here, once he's on that peg, so you don't necessarily need that support in the back. Stop right there. Buzz using his laser. Runaway Buzz. Zombie Buzz. It's not flying, it's falling with style. Here is next to our basic Buzz Lightyear, also made by Mattel. So you can see the spotlight here is a little bit more of a level up just by the details and the paint. Also the height looks like spotlight's a little bit taller. View from the side. And here's the bag. This is where you can see a big difference because of the paint. Also the jetpack for the basic buzz doesn't expand. And of course we can't forget to put them next to our spotlight series Woody which we really like as well. We like how they had a fabric on his clothes rather than just a plastic and painted ones. We also did a review on Woody as well. We'll put a link down below. Here's a view on the side. And the back. 
That's your spotlight series by Metal. You got the regional boss, comes with the card, the helmet that we took off, two pairs of hands, you got three swappable face, the stand, the background, and of course you got Buzz a light year. Now we'll put a link down below if you guys want more information. Collectors, unite! Hmm.